Okay, conjugates. Find the conjugate of Z and verify that Z, Z star, that means Z times the conjugate of Z, is a real number, right? So you will have seen radical conjugates quite a lot. When, when you rationalize thirds, so say you had a 3 over 4 minus root 7, something like that, you rationalize that by multiplying by the radical conjugate over itself. So you would multiply it by 4 plus root 7 over 4 plus root 7. So these two, the 4 minus root 7 and the 4 plus root 7, are they're radical conjugates of each other. So what we're going to do is something very similar, but we use a complex conjugate, and it's generated in exactly the same way. You just change the sign of the imaginary part. So the bit with the eyes, you change the sign. So if we have z equals 2 plus 3i, the conjugate of z, its complex conjugate, is just going to be 2 minus 3i. So we've been asked to find the conjugate and verify that z times conjugate of z is a real number. So if that's z and that's the conjugate of z, then z, z conjugate is going to equal 2 plus 3i, 2 minus 3i. Okay? So just in the same way with certs and the radical conjugates, you've got a difference of 2 squared. So this is going to be 2 squared minus 3i squared. So that is 2 squared minus 3i squared. So that is 4 minus um, 3 squared i squared. Remember, i squared is minus 1. That's what complex numbers are all about. i squared equals minus 1. Okay, so uh, the 3 squared, i squared, well, the 3 squared is just 9, i squared is minus 1, so 9 times minus 1 is minus 1, and if you times by the other minus 1, that's going to end up being positive. So this now is 4 plus 9 equals 13, and we're supposed to verify that that is real, 13 is clearly real. Okay, B z equals 5i z equals 5i and you can think of that as 0 plus 5i so the conjugate of z is just going to be 5i but with the sign change so minus 5i and then if we do z times the conjugate of z well that's 5i times minus 5i so that's 5 times minus 5, which is minus 25 i squared. Remember, i squared is minus 1, so that is minus 25 times minus 1, which ends up being 25, again, which is real. And finally, z equals 11. So z equals 11. So you can think of that as 11 plus 0i, right? So the conjugate is not going to be any different. It's just going to be 11 minus 0i, which is still just 11. So the conjugate of z, remember, you change the sign of the imaginary part. If there is no imaginary part, then there's nothing to change the sign of. So z conjugate is just still going to be 11, and z times z conjugate is just going to be 11 times 11, which is 1, 2, 1. And that, again, is a real number, clearly.